Hello everybody and welcome to this interior design AI rendering tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can use a sketch like this one and Viscom AI to create a beautiful rendering. However, we not only are going to turn the sketch into a rendering, but we want to also modify and further explore how the interior space and architecture could be manipulated. So for example, we can add a hallway so that now then if we create a new AI rendering, we have also the hallway in there. Everybody likes to have a wall-mounted fireplace. So let's actually AI create a fireplace. What about this wall passage we created? We put in a window, suggest actually also what we would like to see through it. And then we used AI to create visualizations of how this modern looking interior space could be designed. And with all that said, let's do it. So here in Viscom, we're going to import our sketch. The download link to that file is in the description of this video. Let's go to plus, upload an image, living room, there we are, perfect. If we take a look at this, we can see there are seating units, there's a coffee table, a planter behind, a rock, there is um, a pendant on top. We see some lines that give us an idea of the architecture and there's a big opening on the right side. We could then go and simply click on describe. And what Viscom just created, some modern living room with a large window, correct sectional sofa, coffee table, abstract wall art, correct pendant light and potted plant. Yep, that's actually pretty good. Um, maybe kind of like, let's say fluffy rug there because actually it ignored this one. Drawing influence, we can keep it 100%. I would like the AI to follow my sketch as closely as possible. And now hit generate. I didn't specify any materials or colors for the walls, the furniture, the carpet and such. So the AI is just simply producing randomized results in this case. It looks actually quite nice already. You see here on the left and the right side, there are interesting yeah, creations. And that is because the sketch is actually falling short. You see that. So let's click the X button. Then we will create a new layer. We will switch to the black color. We will go to the line command, two points. And then we will simply extend these respective lines a little bit to the edge of our image like this. And then let's do this one more time. And there you see it now. Everything is much more clean. The left and the right side make more sense. Beautiful. Because we do not describe also what we are seeing through the window, it randomizes basically what it actually puts in there. So if I say here now, um, garden and forest outside, all the time I tell the AI exactly what I want to see there. We can now go ahead and say, this is like a huge empty wall. Let's say I would like to have um, another opening. So on the same layer here, I am going to holding shift, drawing a line up. Then on this layer from here, for example, I draw a parallel line so I see where this edge is, but I want this kind of like there, very good. Then I can use the eraser tool and erase everything that I don't want. Same here, 
and then I go back to the line command and now this is kind of like the perspective okay so maybe from there yeah this for example feels correct again this is a good example of why it's still important to know perspective sketching because this is wrong <laughs> and this is wrong we need to find an angle that makes it believable like this and here let's say like there very good okay beautiful now if we click generate pay attention to what happens we actually drew in like a new hallway. This is actually why it is so fun to use AI and with sketches because you can kind of like sketch out the architecture you would like to have and then you use the AI to very quickly to visualize it. Here we have actually, oh, this is kind of cool, like now a glass, um, a glass window. There we have some lights, light is coming there. Um, let's say we click add, this is kind of good. And now here I would like to have a fireplace. Okay, so I created this layer here initially before I made this rendering. Let's push this one up on top. And then I sketch myself out the perspective. So we are going to add a really big <laughs> oh, fireplace. So then I can clean this up a little bit. There I am. And there. And this oh gets smaller there. Very good. This is hopefully, uh, this is all closed. So now I can go ahead with the paint bucket and simply fill this one. Very good. I make a new layer. Then I will select actually a different color. Go back to the line command. And you, you see how I'm clicking a little bit lower and I'm trying to somewhat hit the correct proportions. There we are. Then this all will be cleaned up again with the eraser. There, there, there. Then one more time paint bucket. And add another layer so I can always nicely edit individual parts and don't paint into them. And now what I need is fire. So this is kind of good, okay. Sure, and then blah, 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 and just draw something in there. I will draw here a connecting line at the bottom. Hopefully that is a close area so I can fill it. Yes, I could, very good. There are some artifacts left over which I'm going to remove. So, perfect. And then I can select the lasso, go over the, this area and now I say fireplace. So with this sketch basically I tell the AI where and to what proportions I would like to have a fireplace. Click generate. And there we are. And we can flip through the individual ideas. Your the first one has an interesting perspective that doesn't fit this one. That actually that seems to go good. Or we can do another regenerate. I'm also using a 100% of the drawing influence. After this generation, I will lower this a little bit to see what other result I, I get. Okay, good. Um, 
here. Let me close this one. The selection actually got lost. So let's go back and then let's go 70% and take a look at it. No, it just actually looks pretty nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, this is better. Add and exit. So um, we we do now have here a new fireplace, as you can see. So I will click deselect, go to here. This is actually now, as you can see, an image. Um, that's full frame. And what I can do now is I will do simply the following. So all this actually I hide, then I use the eraser and I chop away the stuff. For example, I don't want to see. I can hold shift for vertical lines there. And then here very carefully, I use the stabilizer tool. There we are. So I did actually cut out the fireplace quite nicely. And then you see I'm removing all the rest because that's not really what I, what I want. And then I can show this one there. I'm compositing this basically over it. Whoops, space bar, you can move around or middle mouse button. Very good, perfect. I hope in this exercise, now you started to see how easy it is to change the architecture and add elements to it. We can, for example, draw in a window, we could copy in a piece of this, um, this forest. So I'm going to make a screenshot of this, there we are. Let's say, yeah, maybe like this. Then we're going to add this one. There is the screenshot. I have to move this one on top. So there it is. Then I can scale this one down and bring this over to here. Um, yeah, I would like to actually have this to go down to the ground. Let's say like this. Then we use the screw command. I think I said screw, I mean screw, distort command. It's easier to say. And then let's go with the line command. Um, maybe a dark gray. And then I will, with the line tool, draw actually maybe an outline over it. Mm, this can probably be a little bit thicker now. Yeah. So there and there and there and then at the bottom. Very good. So with all this, let's take a look at what this engine would describe. Fireplace and it puts in um, garden and forest outside. And let's generate. I set the influence pretty low, 60%, so I can get variations now. But you see now it actually understood what I was trying to do there. The architecture also changes a lot. So if we go maybe to 90% and do a generate, we can take a look how that actually would work out. Wow, this is actually amazing. Did you notice how it corrected the um, perspective issue? Because I just realized this. This goes down and here this goes horizontal. Um, that is totally incorrect. It has to go that way and it fixed it there. Pretty amazing actually. Very good. Closing argument. You see I in this 
um, exercise also didn't really specify materials a lot. So what I did with the fireplace, you can also do with pillows, with the furniture, with the rug to mark over and describe what it should be. You can also in the prompt already say like, um, for example, green pillows, for example, and such, and then help instantly the AI to create the look you want. But this is actually pretty respectable and looks pretty realistic already. Okay, very good. That's it. Oh, I forgot to say, no, logically, if you like a specific image, click add. This is not really it.